Yeah, we need to investigate this further. He realized that it was a real physical task to be accomplished in the physical realm with the tools that God gave us. There are undoubtedly thousands of people today who are descendants of King David. I know some of them. And among them is a person, is a man, who could potentially be the Mashiach, who is ready. Well, I think this show is going to be a great time because we are going to continue on with our discussion on the real Mashiach.
And I'd like to know what does the Mashiach have to do that's different than what other Jewish people need to do. You and I and Prescott know them as, of course, just observant Jews. They have an expectancy that this figure is literally walking the streets of Jerusalem, even as we speak today. You know, and part of this, you know, Ray and I talked about this on an earlier show when we were at the Noahide Conference earlier this year. I, I made, I think, some, not some not some profound discoveries, but I think I made some discoveries about this figure that I think have kind of deepened my understanding. Uh, you know, no, I don't, I don't hold this sort of miraculous, mystical, and this is not to diminish the power of God involved in this, but I don't, I don't hold that idea that I once held years ago that this person is almost sort of a, a demigod or something. I mean, I've learned from studying the Torah, as, as Ray and, and, and Prescott have and all of our listeners, that this is a very real person who does very real things in the physical realm and uses the gifts that God gave us in the physical realm. Not that this person won't be extraordinary, he will be. But I think that one of the things that has occurred to me that never occurred to me before is that there is one aspect of this that still that we need to be reminded of, and that is is that we need to want this person. Um, and this is, and, and I'm going to sort of per, put the burden of that that care, that question on our Jewish brothers and sisters, because really, you know, Mashiach is really their leader. I mean, he will of course have an impact on the entire globe, uh, but he's he, he has to first begin to have an impact on the people of, of Israel. And when I say Israel, I say that in the sense that Israel is a nation and that if any any American Jewish family is listening to my voice today and they have not yet made plans to to make Aliyah to Eretz Israel, then I'm speaking to them as expatriates of Israel. They are people who are still literally in the Galut, the, the, the diaspora, the exile. And um, they have to want this personage too, because you know we've seen messianic figures arise in the past. There've been, I think, 35 or 40 odd figures who come up, and they've always fallen short of the mark. And it's because of, of human frailty, but I think also because I think God allowed this, these frailties to um, to emerge because the people, because the Jewish people were not yet ready for this figure to emerge. But there'll be signs, things will be occurring that will let us know that hey, folks, you may not have been anointed yet today, but you better hang on because it's coming real soon. And so I think, um, you know, if I would say anything, you know, Ray and, and Prescott, if I would say anything to our Jewish listeners today, and this doesn't leave out our Noahide listeners, uh, You know, we need to be praying that, that that we are asking for this person to come forth. Does he know he's Mashiach? And this is something that, 
Ray and I talked about it on an earlier show. I don't think he does. But I think that this person, if you read in your Torah, you read in Toledot, in the story of how uh, Esau was originally supposed to have been the one who was to be given the, the mantle of leadership and the one who would be crowned with the title of Israel. Because that is, of course, uh, it, it is a title. He could have easily have been a Mashiach for his day and brought in the redemption and, and created a nation. But, of course, he rejected it. And, of course, thank God, his, his younger brother knew because his mother told him that, that God had told her that the younger one was actually going to be the one to, to take on this mantle. And it literally was a mantle. We can see that he realized that it was a real physical task to be accomplished in the physical realm with the tools that God gave us. And it hasn't changed. We're still looking for that figure. We're still looking for someone among the Jewish people who, as they say, and this comes from, I believe, the Talmudic saying, and I'm going to put it in contemporary terms, if, if, if there is no man to do the job, then, then you be the man. You know, as we like to say in America, you the man. And some, somebody literally needs to decide. And they're not going to decide, oh, I'm the Mashiach. They're going to decide Israel needs a leader right now. And, and this is so precious. This is so timely because even as we're having this conversation today, the, the current prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, has had this, you know, this meeting with, with uh, Obama in the White House. And, of course, we, we know it's all for show anyway.